Pearl Fong West likens it all to a bad dream. She rushed to the scene of the fire at District School Board Northeast at 3.30 Friday morning. It was a little bit surreal. It didn't really seem like it was actually happening. Um, I guess I was in shock most of the morning. Um, I mean, there's still times when I, I still think that this is all just a bad dream uh, until I come back up here and, and see the remnants of the building. The damage is striking, estimated by some within the board as up to $7 million. Despite the devastation to the building, officials say no important files were lost. The school board has been moving towards a paperless system. Unfortunately for staff members like Pearl, personal items were destroyed. In two to three weeks, the building will be removed. But staff and members of the community would like to see the historic facade preserved, if possible. After reconstruction, the lot on Croatia Avenue in Schumacher will continue to be the home of District School Board Northeast. In the meantime, the school board is working out of Roland Michener Secondary School. Phones are fully operational. Uh, parents, uh, public, anyone can still call in to us and we do receive uh, those calls. Uh, every department is up and running, including our transportation. The school board will need to move out of RMSS to wait out the reconstruction of a new building. There is no confirmed location right now, but District School Board Northeast hopes to release that information later this week. The cause of the fire is still being investigated. Bridget Yard, East Link TV News.